In this video, we're going to be covering the replace and substitute functions. Now, either one of these functions can be used when you want to have some characters or a character take the place of another character or characters. So let's go ahead and start with the replace function first. We'll click on that cell here. Click on the insert function icon, bring up our window. I used replace earlier, so it's there here in the most recently used function. I'll just go ahead and double click that and it brings up the function arguments. The old text is the text that you want to replace. In our example, we're going to be using the text in this cell. So we'll go ahead and click that. A2 is going to represent the part ID in this cell. Let's say, for example, we have this part ID and we want to sell this to IBM only and we, I, we want to change this part ID to reflect that we're selling this to IBM only. So we want to put the word IBM in here somewhere and we want to let's say we want to have it after this first dash so this first dash occurs in the fourth place and this is where it gets now to the start number argument and the start number argument is the position of the character in the old text that you want to replace with new text so we want to actually replace it after the dash and after the dash is the fifth place this s represents the fifth place so we're going to put the number five there the next argument is the number of characters in the old text that we want to replace. So we really don't want to replace the old characters. We, we had mentioned earlier that we want to add the words I B, excuse me, the letters I B M in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the number zero. So what it is is it's not going to replace the number of characters. If we put the number one, it's going to replace that S. But if we put the number zero, it's just going to start there and add the new text which comes to our next argument here. So I'm going to type in I B M. And I also want to have a dash. So because these are these these values here are separated by dashes. So let's put a dash after the IBM. I click OK and it's already added quotation marks in there for me. So what it did what it did now is it added the word or let or the letters IBM within this part number. I can go ahead and double click the fill handle here. Oops, didn't work here, but let me go ahead and just click and hold the fill handle and drop it down. And we see here it's copied the word IBM onto the other part numbers. And that's the replace function. What about the substitute function? Well, the substitute function has a different tact. Let me go ahead and search for substitute. the go button here here we got find the substitute and what the substitute function does is it replaces a string of text with the one that you want so this first argument here let's say for example we changed our our database system and database system it doesn't really like dashes anymore we so we need to change all those dashes to a colon so the first text argument here we're gonna select the cell a2 so that's going to be our value here that we want to change. And in the text, we want to change the dash. So we go ahead and put a dash there. And whenever it sees a dash, we want to replace it with a colon. Uh, this instance number here is a optional argument. And I'll show you how we can use that later on. But let's go ahead and click OK and see what happens. So now we can see that where there used to be dashes, it's been replaced by a colon. Now let's say for example I had mentioned earlier that there is an optional argument, the last one here which has instance numbers. What this instant number does is let's say for example we did not want to replace all the dashes with a colon. We just wanted to replace the first one. So what it so what we can do is we can type the number one. We want the first occurrence to be a colon. And if we do that, it's just going to change the first occurrence here. That dash changes to a colon, but the other dash is left by itself. Well, here we can go ahead and do drop the fill, hold, hold, click and hold that little fill handle, and drop it down to the other cells, and it's copied it down. So there are some examples of how we can use the replace and substitute functions. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.